Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Shit, you know what I'm saying? First things first. Welcome back. Second thing second. I'm drinking on some tea. Go ahead and subscribe for the vibes. Now, put your put your foot down. You won't care. Anyway, let's go straight into the topic, bro. I was off of social media for like two, maybe two and a half, three weeks, something like that. And uh, I'm gonna be frank, bro, they lied, bro. You get your fucking hands <laughs> off me. <laughs> that shit ain't give me no spiritual enlightenment. That shit did not send me to the gods. That shit did not make me a millionaire. These motherfuckers is lying to me. That don't work. There's no way out of this one. You're done. Bro. And then they say, oh, it'll stop jealousy and then it'll stop this and it'll stop that. Yeah, you being jealous of online people. But uh, newsflash, you're a human. Bro, you still gonna be jealous of people in real life. Just cause you shut it out. Don't mean it ain't gonna still happen in real life, bro. Nigga, you go to the, let's say you go to, you go to Walmart. A motherfucker in the parking lot got a Benz that you been wanting since you was young. <laughs> Jealous, you on your spiritual journey. It's a guru with more followers, more fans, more everything to you. You're jealous. So you can't just block out social media and think that it's gonna stop jealousy like that. You gotta work on, I hate to say it, but you have to work on what's within you. Don't compare yourself to other people. Compare yourself to yourself. It's not you versus them, it's you versus you, bro. What I did feel when I was off of social media is the only reason I even got off is because I got tired of seeing like repetitive shit. Granted, I see repetitive shit in real life, but it gave me a breath of fresh air. Now, I'm not going to lie. When they said that you, you will get a little bit more relief, yes, you will get a little bit more relief. But when you get back on, you're going to be mad as shit because it sounds bad, but most people don't change, bro. When I got back on, it was the same shit I was seeing one side when I had left. Did it piss me off? Yes, because even though I may not know people, I expect more from people. I expect greatness. Show me some dope shit. Show me you trying to skydive with, you know what I'm saying? You get the main jokes. Best authentic self is what I mean. Not some fake bullshit. Oh, let me do this trend shit, man. Niggas, let me do this. Bro, stop. Be you. Well, I, uh, I did bring something. You want to see it? Yeah. Turn around. I'm ready. Because the truth behind the matter is nobody give a fuck, bro. Nobody's watching you, bro. Motherfuckers be so caught up in, oh, this person watching me, so I can't be my authentic self. This person, that person, them other people over here, nobody give a fuck, bro. You could drop dead right now like a fly. Nobody don't bat an eye. Except your mom dudes. Probably your pops. A couple of your family members. But the rest of the world gonna go on and on and on and on. It ain't gonna miss a beat, bro. So I urge you, if you are trying to delete your social media or you are trying to take a break, don't take a break thinking that everything is gonna be solved. It's not. It's like closing the door on the problem. The problem is still there. It's just waiting on you outside the door. You get what I mean? Anyway, though, I don't wanna ramble on too much. I just wanna say that, yes, they lied, bro. None of this shit is gonna solve everything, bro. You have to solve it, not even being funny. Think about jealousy is everywhere. Comparison is everywhere, the thief of joy. Timmy Turner, his dad had a, I know, 
cliche ass fucking comparison. I don't know what to call it. it. You get what I'm saying. His dad had a nice ass house, nice ass job, nice ass place, chill kid. He's still comparing himself to Dinkelberg every single day. My nigga buy a new pair of shoes, Dinkelberg buy three. Dinkelberg! You feel me? That's you. <laughs> hey, looking good, Turner. Dinkelberg. So when you're doing these things, make sure you're doing it for yourself and not for somebody else. Oh, and plus, I got off because I just got tired of people. I guess I'm getting tired of people. Anyway, what I was saying is, I got tired of everybody, bro, and just, just wanted a break. So make sure you're doing shit for you and not for other people. You get what I'm saying? Because if you keep doing shit for other people, lighting yourself on fire to keep other people warm, then you're never going to have warmth. Anyway, though, man, take care of yourself. I love you. Subscribe for the vibes. And then until next time, peace and love, man. I'm out. <laughs> Hella thoughts in my head on the daily I'm coping with shit cause I might just go crazy I flew out the state to go see my little baby I'm missing my dudes, need to see my old lady Yeah, you did what you did, I can't let this shit phase me I'm focused on me cause everybody done switched up Got a little older, they show their true colors As soon as I'm gone, just look out for my brothers And I thought about giving up, but they depend on me A lot of